I've decided to do some more modifications and uh, upgrades to my little Tebo tarantula and one of the things that's been bothering me is the bed has got a little bit of movement in it um, don't know if you can hear that so I've decided to upgrade the the Y carriage bed to this so I'll be installing that in a few minutes and uh, see if that makes any difference now I actually fitted this on to the little uh, y-axis here and um, discovered that the little duper wacky that I've actually printed out here the actual belt uh, holder um, it doesn't hit the end stop so I've had to replace that particular piece with this one so it's actually got a little um, plate on the end here so it hits the end stop and uh, hopefully that'll uh, that'll work you can now see the little plate hits the end stop nicely as we come across so yeah that's a success okay I've got the new uh, bed in place and you can see how strong this one is now compared to the other one there is no absolutely no movement in it so when I move it I'm actually moving the entire the entire frame so very happy with that I'll print out a benchy shortly I printed out one earlier uh, on the old uh, acrylic base and uh, we've got the new PLA base under this one so we'll compare the uh, results and uh, while I'm at it I've decided to add some of these uh, they're quite quite interesting little devices they're a um, thumb screw adjustment for your bed so they fit up under there and here's the little bed leveling device with the metal insert pushed in and uh, hopefully that'll do a yeah, nice job and uh, <laughs> we'll soon find out now this little benchy was printed out with a little bit of bed wobble that I've uh, had in the in the Tebo tarantula just moving it around slowly so you can have a bit of a look at it there's no cooling fan being used in this particular print and I'll just lift it up and uh, show you sort of see underneath there it's um, a bit rough around the bow of the boat and uh, not the prettiest of prints as one would say now the second little benchy which is there this particular one was printed with the updated um, bed that I've actually printed out and again there's no cooling on it so the y-axis bed um, has made a huge improvement in print quality as you can see these top one was printed on a wobbly bed the bottom one was printed on the uh, Y carriage the new upgraded one that I've actually printed out so I think you can see a bit of quality difference between the two of them I had no mistaking this one here bye bye this one again this is printed with no fan on so that will give you an idea of the quality of the, the print without the fan it's uh, not too bad and uh, yeah I'm kind of impressed with that so the printer is getting better each upgrade that I do and uh, again thanks for watching